Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Nolan. How are my adventures doing? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I know it's been a while since I've like talked to you guys and updated you guys on the game, but uh, I got great news. Uh, so you guys remember when I did that possible uh, future update video? So about the art situation, we are trying something new. I told you guys we we're going to have a poll on it after it was done and we are doing remakes so right now we're doing remakes of the starter monster girls and slime girl has finally gotten a remake so this would be her design now besides from the older slime girl hold up let me go ahead and pick that up i'll show you guys more with the full color of it um, but just to get a comparison of old slime girl with the new one, this is old slime girl. Now this is new. So all the art will be remade by mono studio. This is mono studios, like drawing and layout. Okay. where to go? <laughs> I didn't plan this out, but yeah, big difference, right? So everything is going to be getting revamped. I'm not going to show you guys the cat girl or the, well, Tigora or Dark Elf just yet until the end of this month when they are both ready. I'm only showing, I'm only showing Slime Girl now is because we have a poll that is coming up and this is one of my surprises that I wanted to share with you guys. It's not the main surprise that I've been hiding for quite a, quite a while, but you know, that's yeah. <laughs> and this is basically the encounter version. And this is basically the fighting version. So next uh, is how Mono Studio did it. So this is Mono Studios coloring. Well, pretty much we're going back and forth and seeing like which one you guys would prefer Mono Studio coloring it, which is theirs, or would you guys prefer my coloring it, which is hers here. So I'm going to have a poll for this for these two. The only problem with all of this is that, well, how do I explain this? There's no real issue between it, except for like money wise, that that's the main issue of everything that's going on here. Why Mono Studio does it all the redesigns and coloring, all that equals up to $75. But if I was just to have them you know, do the outline like you guys saw here, that would probably just be like $50, $55 at least. If I do that, then let my color it, my charges $60 for the coloring. So it costs me a lot more to go with her for coloring, but I don't mind. It just really depends on like which one you guys like. So make sure to vote and speak up. The polls will be going on very soon. Well, as this video is up uploads, the polls will go on. So you guys can pretty much pick and choose which one you guys want to go with. You guys want to go between the collab of Mono Studio drawing the artwork, then my coloring it, or would you guys prefer Mono Studio just doing the full remakes themselves? And I would mostly have my for like concepts and having mono themselves doing like the final designs. It's pretty much where I was going with that. Do make sure to vote so we can figure this whole art thing out and get a set path on it. Set path on that. So I can actually plan out my money a lot easier. I guess I'll save the rest of the stuff until like the end of the month. Then we'll actually have everything going but um yeah hope you guys 
enjoy the art. <laughs> I'm actually happy about the remakes. It actually looks very nice. It's definitely an upgrade from um, original Slime Girl. I've already seen the um, outline for Tigora, which is fantastic. But like I said, it depends on how this goes. On how I'm going to tackle everything forward. So not only are the starters are getting remade. All of the Monster Girls are getting remade. So it's going to be a while before we even touch like newer Monster Girls. Because I want to get this done and situated and everything, you know, in order. That's the goal, at least. So with that said, things like Hydra, uh, Owl Girl, and everything will be getting remade. So yeah, um, if Mono Studio actually ends up being the lead for this, I will probably have my as a sketch for like uh, concepts. Because Mono has the artist doing both the drawing and the coloring. So everything will be consistent this time. So I don't have to worry about that, is, is what they said. So that's good. Uh, so if Mono wins the coloring thing, I will mostly have Mai as a concept artist. Like she'll be doing sketches. I don't know if I'm going to have her just draw the whole thing because I feel like that would cost me a lot more. That's just on my brain. If she draws sketches, that would be faster and I'll have Monster Girls left and right instead of her just, you know, going through the time and drawing all that. But if she wins, we'll take it a lot slower at a good pacing and she'll be doing the coloring afterwards. So either way it goes, it'll be consistent. So I don't really have to worry about that either way. So with that said, hey, make sure to vote up. I'm going to be putting up the poll right now. Until then. Oh, wait, hold up. There was also another thing that Mono did. They went above and beyond. You guys remember that little um, sketch of the UI that I was uh, touching on a little bit? This is something they made. So Mono can actually do with some pretty good uh, UI stuff, some UI uh, concepts. So I might do, get them to do concepts like later down the road for like the battle system. Then I can have those like actually made unless they're trying to learn like actual UI stuff that I could just order from them. But that's something further down the road. It's not really like guns ho my main idea at the moment well my main like focus at the moment because uh that's because it's a little off into i figure out the whole current issue that's going on so once that's fixed then we'll get back into the battle system i don't know when that's going to be but on a bright side you guys can look forward to Monster Gold Designs being remade. <laughs> well, that's it. Into then. Peace out. You guys have a fantastic day.